Hello and welcome to the installation of Operations Bridge Manager 2020.05. So the current situation is we install the files and we also, um, one second, and we brought them to the OBM machine. And now we are just going to extract it and run the installer. So it's going to be something among those lines. Using wildcard here, always nice. Going once, going twice. In the meanwhile, we are going to the terminal in the RDP session and we see CDOBM. Now, this is a very interesting terminal, or this is a very interesting uh, server. Perhaps you've seen it before in my channel, but basically what happens is that you can see only a portion of what's going on in it. And yep, so sometimes you'll see that the Googie is wacky and will be just nudging the window to see what's going on in it. And it's already extracted, so we are going to say install sh and just run it on all defaults. There we go, it's unpacking the GRE. Now, at some point, we'll skip in the video when we will be installing the actual bits because I watch a progress bar, right? But in the meanwhile, until we get there, let's see how it goes for us. So I expect to be, I expect it to be very similar to previous versions. You never know. Right now we are working in the blind. So let's see, let's see, let's see. In terms of speed, it's kind of the same. It's still the same experience. So there's our license coming up. We say next, single server, of course. Validating everything, validate, validate. Okay, nice validation. All right. So there's the next pattern. As you see, I need to nudge the window from time to time. Which is a very, very weird of way of doing this, but yeah, that's how it is in this specific server. It's been serving me for about two, three years, so I'm really used to it. Something in the RDP itself, but yeah, I am not going to hold anything against it because I'm basically going to be using it for about 15 to 20 minutes of the whole life cycle of this server, which can be years, so I don't really need to fix it. Okay, so there's the installer. Let's just skip it through. All right, there it is. It is done with the progress bars and we are going to configure slash upgrade. Okay, that picture is a little bit sharper than usual. All right. So we go we do like this, create, create a new database. We'll use an internal database. And we'll use the best of the passwords available. Okay, I think that's it. Yes, OBM generated certificates. There we go. Yes. Thank you. Uh, we are, we're not going to do licenses just right now. And uh, let's do passwords. All right, there we go. One, two, three. Four. Oh, nudge a little bit. Next. Yes. 
Okay, so in terms of sizing, so let's see how much it changes everything here. So the way I understand it, it's just the allocation of resources before it crashes. So some of them are Java based, so they do expire, others just don't matter. All right, so we are going to do this in Apache Kafka, Apache Web Server, BPM, Diag. Docker, Google Cloud, not yet, Informix, you know what, if someone asks us to do, Informix database, definitely not. Okay, give it a nudge. All right, Hadoop, no, JBoss, yes. All right. Uh, Azure, yes, please. SQL, IIS, IIS probably we will didn't need it. Give it a little match to see. Yes, and we need to scroll down. Just to the very end over here. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, that's annoying, but that's what we got. Postgres SQL, RAM, yes, SAP HANA, no, site scope, yes, sky for business, no, TIPCO, no, VMware infrastructure, and Vertigo. All right. So those are going to be our management packs. We click on next, we review everything, everything is in order, and now it just configures itself. So pretty much that's it. From that point on, the OBM is ready. We just need to wait for it to start itself. It takes about one to two hours, depends on your deployment, before it's available. And then every reboot is much, much faster. It's like 10 minutes. So that's about it. Our OBM is done. So I hope you like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.